In this video, we're going to cover some of the demo content that comes with the website and how you can make use of it. In addition, I'm also going to show you what actually makes your theme, so you can make use of additional elements that we don't provide inside of the system. So as an administrator, when you're logged in, you, you can come to content. Now what we've done is we've created a, an entirely separate content type that allows you to make use of some of the theme demo content that we have available. One of the things you can do here is you can drill down Let's say that if you have 500 nodes a part of your site now and you need to find that content, what you have to do is select theme demo content type and hit apply. What that's going to do is that's going to list only that particular content. Now let's take a look at some of these. We'll get some of the most important ones here. Well, I've opened up some of these pages here. We can kind of take a look. Well, this is all additional styled things that we put as a part of your site, allowing you to come in to this content, copy and paste particular things, and paste it into other pages or other particular content. Let's take a look at the rest of these. We have responsive media. Let's say that you're posting Vimeo or YouTube. You can see that this is going to adjust to a cell phone's liking no matter what. And of course, if you're familiar with it, if they clicked on this right here, it would launch their YouTube application if it's installed. Moving forward, you can see we have tabs and accordions set up here for you to kind of come in and configure. All different types of typography, alignment, justification, particular styles, bot quotes, and additional items in here such as tabbing. And of course we come to the responsive grid. We've set this up for you in a basic scale and just kind of certain ways that we've set up your blocks. You'll see this represented throughout this content on the actual website. And of course we have the model here and so on. Now what we're suggesting here with this particular demo video is that you can come in here and copy and paste particular things that you need for your particular content. Let's say that I want to put the Jumbotron on another page, all by itself, which is unlikely, but this is just a simple demo. So here what I can do is I can call this demo. I can go ahead and paste what I just copied in. I can say, this is the title above the Jumbotron. You don't have to use it if you don't want to. And of course I can come in here, we can say that we set the class to Jumbotron. Now remember, this is based on, a boot, on Bootstrap. I'll cover Bootstrap here in a minute. So of course we can change any particular text that we want. Say, hello dude, is this a call to action? And we can leave that button here. So at this point I can choose full HTML, come down to the bottom, and press save. And that Jumbotron is going to automatically take place, saving you a ton of time to have to constantly style particular elements. So how do we get these elements that are a part of your website? It's very simple. What you should do is go ahead and familiarize yourself with Bootstrap. You can go to Google and just type up Get Bootstrap. And it's going to show up at the very top. Now one of the great things about this is this is what your theme is built on. And Bootstrap provides you with several elements that we've also included in your demo content so you don't have to go to a third party site. It's going to be inside of your system. But if I go to CSS, Every single element that you see over here on the right side gives you access to copy and paste certain things. For example, if we look at the grid, this is exactly what that is. And we can get access to this type of formatting and you could directly copy and paste this into your system. And I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. So let's say that I grabbed any of these over here and I wanted to copy that source code. Well, if I come into content and come into add content, we've got another basic page. So I'm gonna paste the columns in here. I'm just gonna go ahead and paste, set the full HTML. We'll call this demo again. I can go ahead and hit save. And now you can see the columns and content layout just how it was. This is 12 columns, this is the 4.8, this is the 33%, and this is the 50%. So just remember, when you need to fall back on something that's not a part of the site and you want to see what other options you have available for this particular layout and theme, always come to Bootstrap and kind of take a look at what you have access to. Form elements, all sorts of good stuff. In addition to that CSS, you also have access to different components, such as icons. But the icons thing, I wouldn't sweat too much because we've included Font Awesome in with the system as well. Okay, Jumbotron, this is what you saw a second ago. Okay, have all sorts of progress bars and things like that. In addition to the components, you also have access to some of their JavaScript. One of the demos that we provided in the system is the actual modal. You can click on that and it launches content. As you can see, you can place a certain amount of content in here as you like. So that's how we make use of Bootstrap across all of our themes.